All my life I heard the expressions, you gotta fake it to make it. But I never really subscribed to that concept cause I believe you gotta think it to make it. See whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe he can achieve. Change your mind and you can change your life. Take a whip, I'm the, uh, I'm the black rich you rich. Uh, Do it all on my own. Uh, I ain't never need a b uh, cause it's all in the wrist. Uh, she in love with the sniff. Uh, I'm in love with the bricks. Uh, like I'm short, like I'm thick. What? Make a bust like the rhyme. What? Only hit it one time. Someone hit me on the DM and they asked me, why is it when successful black men get money, they always date outside of their race? Now, I'm going to try to attempt to answer this, and this is just my opinion. I believe most black African Americans that are successful date outside of their race because women in different ethnicities, they listen. That's the number one reason, I believe, why they date outside of their race. And the reason they always gravitate towards white women is because white women follow the lead of their men. They would follow with no problem. You understand? It's a part of their genes. They always been following their men for centuries, man. They'll stay at home, take care of the kids, do whatever the white man asked them to do. It was just that simple, man. They had structure in their household. They all played their position, and that was what it was. Even back since slavery days, man. The white man was the master, the slave did whatever they was told to do, and the white woman would support all that bullshit that the white man was doing. That's how that shit went, man. You feel me? So it's passed down through generation. So when a successful black man gets some money, he want a woman that's gonna listen and take instructions and follow his lead, man. A lot of times when it come to black women, they don't like to take instructions. They don't like to follow the lead of nobody. The only lead they wanna follow is themselves. And that's why a lot of them walk around lost. Running around like a chicken with their head cut off. But I understand why they act that way. It's passed down through generations, man. Their great-great-grandmother's been oppressed by the slave master. You feel me? Their great-great-grandfather been oppressed. It's, just in a, it's in their genes. It's in their DNA. They don't like to be told what to do. That's why it's always that combative type of relationship between a black man and a black woman. The man wants control. The woman don't want to be controlled because she's been oppressed all her life. It's passed down to the generation and the bloodline. We don't want to feel oppressed in our relationship. That's just what it is, right? So it's always that type of relationship where you can't tell me what to do and you're not listening. You're not paying attention. Well, you ain't my daddy. You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. It's always that type of fight. Always that type of argument, right? So we don't want a woman that's always going to be fighting with us over simple-minded shit. You feel me? So that's why a lot of black men date outside of their race. Asian women, white women are very subtle, very submissive, very easy to deal with, right? They haven't came up the way black women have came up. And a lot of times when you're dealing with black women, you know, you're gonna deal with some kickback. They not just gonna do whatever the fuck you say just because you making the bread and butter. Now, I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but it is what it is. So a lot of times, they don't want to feel oppressed in their relationship. And you know, when a man get power, and when he feels like he's on top of his game, he's on top of the world, and he got some money, you can't tell him nothing. His ego's at, to the roof. So that caused a lot of men to start to dominate in their relationship. They asking a woman to do things from an arrogant standpoint, right? They saying it in a certain type of way, and a black woman don't want to go for that type of shit. The white woman might deal with that type of shit because she just happy to have a black man. You know what I mean? She feel like she got her a token nigga. So she's going to follow his lead and do whatever he says. Because they just happy to have a black man by their side. It is what it is. Black women, they've been dealing with our bullshit for years. So when we get some money and we start to act a certain type of way and be demanding, they not going to put up with that bullshit. Instead of him trying to figure out and deal with the black woman and communicate with her on a certain level, he say forget that and get him a white woman and keep it moving. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying he's right or wrong. It is what it is. They grown ass adults. They can do what they please. You feel me? At the end of the day, we all got a decision to make. We can date a black woman or a white woman or oriental woman, whatever we decide to do. But that's one of the reasons I believe in my mind a lot of black men date white women is because they are submissive. They come from a family structure where they did what the man say. They've been doing that since 1900 long, from back in the days when the slave master had slaves. 
They just allowed the man to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do on that plantation. The white woman didn't have a say. Know what I mean? They didn't even have a right to vote back in their days. You dig? They couldn't even vote. They got their right to vote in 1921, I believe. You feel me? Somebody fact check that for me and let me know if I'm correct. But that's when the white women got their liberty to vote. So y'all gotta understand, they came up under a power structure where they had to play their position. They couldn't do nothing else. They couldn't be nothing else but be the caretaker of the household. And like I said again, black women come from the lineage and the bloodline of slaves. And they've been and they've been oppressed. And that's passed down in their DNA. So when it comes to men, they don't want to be told what to do every day and every second. You feel me? Because it's in their genes just to be, you know what I mean? They want to feel free. And they don't have a, you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's just how that shit go, man. And a man been oppressed all his life, so when he's in a relationship, he wants to dominate. He wants to be in control. You know what I mean? Because, shit, we just got our, you know what I mean? Freedom. We got the powers in our hands now. When we come home, we want to control and dominate that arena. And, you know, you got to play your position. It is what it is. That's how, you know, that's what's going on in a relationship right now. You feel me? But a woman got to understand this, man. You got to tap into your feminine energy because that's your superpower. Don't try to be masculine. Don't try to tap into his energy. Nah, your superpower is being the woman that you are. Tap into your feminine energy. Tap into your femininity, right? Because you're going to be dominant in that arena. See, what I want y'all ladies to know is this, man. Your feminine energy is your superpower. Anytime you try to tap into that masculine energy, you lower in your vibration. Why would you want to be like a man when you're stronger than a man emotionally? Yeah. Yeah. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Niggas can't fuck with me, man. That boy. It's liquid cash. I need it all out in the stash. I'ma get rich or I'ma get the border. Riding cross country, my four Taurus.